Hi everyone, welcome back to the Spring Security Tutorial. This is the continuation of the previous video. In case if you missed the previous video, the link will be given in the description section of this video. Make sure to watch the previous video before proceeding this video. Alright, now let's come back to the today's video. In this video, we are going to discuss about configuring the user roles inside the Spring Security application. In the previous video, we have discussed about configuring the authorities inside the Spring Boot application and in this video we will discuss about the user roles. In real world applications most of the times we will use we will configuring the user roles instead of the configuring the authorities. So let's understand how we can configure the roles inside the Spring security application. Now you can enroll into my premium courses on Udemy. I have three specific courses. The first one is build production ready rest api with spring boot which includes the expense tracker api the second one is full stack development with react and spring boot that includes the react hooks and the third one is jsp and servlets for beginners all the links will be given in the description section of this video if you join these courses through my link then you will get a 90 percent discount now back to the video so the first step is to we are going to update the authority entity class we are going to set up the one to many relationship between the user and the authority because one user can have a multiple authorities or multiple roles so that is what exactly we are going to do inside the authority entity class we are going to create a field private user and we are going to add the annotation many to one many authorities are mapped to a single user so that is what the many to one and we will add the join column annotation and we will provide the column name which is user underscore id so this is the foreign key column to the user entity the second step is to update the user entity inside the user entity we are going to create a set of authorities we will use the set uh, set interface and we are going to um, add the authorities so basically the user is having a multiple authorities and we're going to use the one to many annotation and we are going to use the map it by attribute and we're going to map it to the user property inside the authority so that is the second step and the third step is to inside the spring security configuration class we are going to restrict the urls so we're going to make use of the has role and has any role and slash dashboard this is the endpoint which is only accessible for the user which is having the role admin and similarly for the profile url the user is having the role of super admin can able to access the slash profile for the register and login anyone can access this because these are the public endpoints anyone can access this but for the slash dashboard only the user which is having the admin role can access this url similarly for the profile only the user which is having the role super admin can access this if you want to specify the multiple uh, roles then we can separate it with the comma we can use this we are going to make use of the has any role it will take the multiple roles uh, inside this method that is the second that is the third step and the last step is to we need to pass the authorities to the authentication provider for the custom authentication provider so inside the custom authentication provider we are going to create a private method which is get authorities which will which will take the set of authorities and inside this we will create a list which is of type simple granted authority and we will loop over the authorities that the user is uh, uh, getting the user authorities and we will add it to the simple granted authority and we will return that list and we will add that authorities to the user password authentication token so in the previous video we have discussed only one user is having only a single authority but here the user is having a multiple authorities or a multiple roles so we are going to loop through the authorities and we will add it to the simple granted authority and we will add it to the username password authentication token so these are these are the development steps now let's jump to the sts id and let's write a code for this and test the api okay i'm inside the intellij idea and most of the things i have already made the changes inside this uh, spring security application so inside the authority entity i have already declared the property which is user and i have added the annotation many to one and we are adding the join column annotation and we are creating the column user underscore id 
similarly inside the user entity i am creating the a uh, field uh, which is a list of authority this is actually not a list of authority let me change this to set of authority and this is a set let me import the set from the util package and this is a set of authorities and we're going to use the one to many annotation because one user can have a multiple authorities or a multiple roles and we're going to map it to the property which is user from the authority entity and also i have already inserted a few records to the database so let me go to the database and you can see inside the authorities let me execute this inside the authorities we have the four authorities which is role underscore user role underscore admin role underscore root role underscore admin and if you go to the users we have a two users which is bhushan and bharat bhushan is having two roles bharat is having two roles bhushan is having two roles which is of user and admin and bharat is having a roles which is of root and admin you can see the user ids and if you look at this when we are uh, working with the roles inside the database we will add the roles with the we will prepend it with the role underscore followed by the role name but when we are configuring the http request inside the that is what the next step is when we are configuring the spring securities uh, when we are configuring the http request we are not going to use the uh, role we are not going to add the role to the uh, role names for example uh, slash dashboard this url is only accessible for the user which is having the role has role we are going to make use of the has role method and we will provide the role name which is let's say for example uh, super admin super admin but here we are not going to prepend the root sorry not the root we are not going to pre prepend the role this and role underscore is by default prepended by the spring security so whenever we are working with the role we should not prepend it with the role only we will insert the role underscore followed by the role name inside the database but we are not not going to configure inside this http request okay now the slash dashboard is only accessible for the super admin and similarly the slash profile is accessible for the admin admin if you want to let me change this to has any role if you want to provide multiple roles we can provide it with the comma admin slash user so now we have configured the http request which is slash dashboard is accessible for the super admin and the slash profile is accessible for admin and user so the next step is to we need to pass these authorities to the authentication provider so inside the custom authentication provider uh, what i'll do is we are going to instead of passing the empty array list we are going to pass the set of authorities i'm going to create a private method i'm going to call this get authorities and to this we will pass the user dot get authorities so let's go ahead and create this method let me create this method in the down and this will return the list of simple granted authority list of simple granted authority inside this i'm going to create a set of authorities so before that let me change this to set this is not a list so inside this we will create a set which is of type simple granted authority and call this list is equal to new hash set we're going to create a hash set and we're going to loop through the authorities so which is of type authority let's call this auth and authorities and inside this we will create the uh, simple granted authority list dot add and we're going to create a new simple granted authority and to this we will pass the auth dot get authority so and finally we're going to return that set of authorities return list okay so now we are passing the list of authorities to the username password authentication token pretty simple so let me save this 
now all we need to do is we need to test the APIs so our application has restarted and we should not have any errors now let's go back to the postman and I have already inserted a few records like I said let's go to the postman let's go to the new request and choose post we need to log into the API so I'm going to change this to login and change it to body raw json and provide the email address which is bushan at example.com password one two three four five the moment we click on this send we will get the exception which is stack overflow okay that is because let me go to the user and i will change this to setter and getter instead of using the data we will use setter and getter that is because we will get some two string exception so make sure to use the setters and getters we should not override the two string method inside the authority instead of data let's override the setter and getter let's save this our application will restart now okay our application is restarted let's go to the postman click on this send you can see now the user has been logged in and if you look at this Bushan let me go to the database and Bushan is having the user role and the admin role if you go to this IntelliJ idea inside this slash dashboard is accessible only for the super admin but now we have logged in as a Bushan and Bushan does not have the super admin role and he cannot access this slash dashboard let's go to the postman and change this to get localhost colon 800 slash login slash dashboard click on this send you can see forbidden because Bushan role is so admin user and admin and he cannot able to access the uh, slash dashboard because slash dashboard is only accessible by super admin but Bushan can easily access the profile click on this send you can see he can access the profile similarly Bharat also cannot able to access the slash dashboard because slash dashboard is only accessible by the super admin and the user we are inserted inside the database does not have a super admin role so this is all about the role based authorities i hope you understand about this role authorities thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video